guys, in today's video, I was going out on my CRF 110 to film a top speed video. I went to this long field that I knew I'd be able to get the top speed out of the bike, but I ended up getting chased by an angry farmer on a quad bike. He was chasing me on the quad all round, and unfortunately, my wheel did actually break on my bike. Luckily, I did get away, but yeah, make sure you watch all the video to see what happens, but I'm not going to talk anymore. We'll just cut straight into the video. I hope you enjoy it. my wheel guys there's something wrong with my wheel Guys, I'm not sure how well you can hear me. I've just been chased by somebody on a quad bike. I can see him over there. He's going round and round the fields. I so nearly just got caught, because where I wanted to do this top speed, this isn't my field, but I know that it's a really long field, so I'd be able to get the top speed video out of it. He's having a walk around over there, but my wheel, I'm not sure if you could hear it at all, but my wheel is like crunching and making loads of funny noises. I can still see the farmer over there. I'm going to go back to that forest and see if I can get a better angle on him. He's just walking around looking at some trees. 
I'm re I'm not sure what's wrong on my wheel. I really need to. So guys, I got a little bit too cocky there. I went over and I sticking my middle finger up at the farmer. And he chased me again, but my wheel's so bad. He definitely can't see me where I am now, but I had to literally jump over a little bank just then. And it's full of twigs and everything. That was too close, especially with my wheel broken. Usually, if my wheel wasn't broken... I'd have a lot of fun right now and I'd just mess around and try and let him catch me but he knows that this bike's way quicker than that quad because he was chasing me for ages and he, he had no chance so it's a shame my wheel's broken I really don't know what to do my wheel's really clicking and it's making loads of bad noises like crackling and I thought a spoke had fallen off but none of the spokes have fallen off I'm going to have to try and get back home and then we'll sort my wheel out. Oh no. Oh. My bearing's gone on my bike. It's so windy as well, guys. I really don't know what to do right now. I'm going to have to just try and put my chain back on and hope that I can drive it back just slowly. I'm going to I'm going to sit and wait about half an hour though just to make sure that that farmer's gone. So guys, I have made it back now and I've got the bike to my pressure washer, um, but yeah, I managed to get the chain back onto the bike, but um, yeah, the bearing ha has completely destroyed itself. So yeah, I'm going to give the bike a clean, head back over and take my wheel off and order some new bearings. <laughs> So yeah, the bike's all clean now, I'm going to take it round to the workshop, take the wheel off. I've literally only just got this 110 back because I had a flat tyre on it, so I haven't ridden it in a month. So I was waiting for some tyre levers, 
as soon as I get the tyre levers, put a new tube in and now the bearing's gone. Problem after problem at the moment, so yeah, I need to order some new bearings and then we can do an actual top speed test with this bike. So yeah, let's head back round to my garage. So guys, there you go. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want any more of these type of videos, then make sure you comment that down below as well. Thanks for watching.